Hi guys, uh, welcome to, the, to my presentation. My name is Adam Libusha. I'm a, I'm a traveler, I'm a software uh, developer. Uh, I love sci-fi, I come late, I really love fried cauliflower, and I'm also a polyglot and trying to be one. I'm really, really thankful that you came here. Uh, and I was kind of expected a smaller number because uh, having a talk parallel to Richard Simcott is basically like sending, uh, like selling tuna sandwiches for 15 euros a piece next to a restaurant which opens uh, right now and make, is making a promo action, sell, giving out food for free, cooked by a freaking Jamie Olivier. So I'm really happy that you're here. Um, now, my, the topic of my talk is uh, polyglot keyboard layout. And uh, I would like you to put yourself in the following uh, situation. Imagine that you are sitting at your desk, either at your home or at your office, doesn't matter. And you are writing an article in English, so you are probably using the QWERTY keyboard. And you are kind of uh, progressing, you are productive, which means that you are opening Facebook only every 30, min 30 seconds. But you are progressing, the, the paragraphs do add up, so you are doing some work. And then you are just writing, typing, out of the blue, your Spanish friend Maria writes you. And Maria, she's this very stereotypical Spanish girl who likes to talk a lot, likes to talk about her feelings, and she's very sweet and innocent, as, as, <laughs> as innocent as to think that the benefits in friends with benefits actually mean that they are cooking for each other. And she, she's heartbroken, she, she's written you because she wants to tell you about what happened to her. And uh, she's like, Oye, Adam, no puedes imaginarte lo que Miguel me hizo. And I'm like, no, Maria, dime. Even though I know exactly what happened because it has happened 15 times before, it will happen 15 times in the future. Uh, her new biggest love of life just abandoned her again. So, so we talked to her. You, you want to be a nice friend, you want to be supportive. So we want to tell her something like, Maria, escucha. No seas tan dura con, contigo misma. Uh, tuviste un año agotador. In which moment you, you take your fingers away from the keyboard because you realize you cannot type this sentence without diacritics. Because instead of telling her that she had an exhausting year, you're going to tell her that she, she had an exhausting asshole. <laughs> so what you do, you switch to the Spanish keyboard layout, you type the ñ, and you switch back to English because you don't know how to, like, work with the rest. And then you calm her down, you tell her like it's going to be okay and stuff like that and you manage. So you switch back to the English keyboard layout and you get back to your work uh, and you feel really good about yourself because you are a supportive and good friend. And five minutes at your, in your work, your German boss Herr Müller <laughs> writes you and he asks you, Holy Busha! Haben Sie das Bericht schon abgeschickt? And he's this really stereotypical German boss he, who is completely humorless, uh, hates when things are not done perfectly and in the moment he wanted them. And uh, if you piss him off, he will start uh, throwing at you this really long compound German words. And the more he piss you, you piss him off, the longer and the more compound they get. <laughs> when, you, when you ask him if, if, you, if you could get a, uh, like a raise or something like that, or send it a little bit later, his answer is usually nine, 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 nine. So anyways, you want to be, you don't want to lose your job, the first thing, and you want to be polite. And you also, you don't want to be a cultural language uh, barbarian, so you want to write and answer him with the critics, umlauts in this case. So you switch to the German keyword layout, you make up some lie why you didn't send it yet, and he's, he's okay with that, and you get back to your English assignment. And you go on, and then your French crush interrupts you. <laughs> and you're actually very happy this time because she's your crush, and she's, she wants to invite you to the road trip that she's, dying, she's doing with her friends to Austria. And uh, she wants you to join in, so you're overjoyed. Uh, you want to ask like, where you're going to. You want to ask her, uh, allez-vous à Vienne? And because she's your crush, and you want to impress her. Uh, you want to really make sure that you use the right diacritical marks above this A in front of Vienna. So what you do, you switch over between and so on. Uh, so it's when, it's complete, when it's done, you get back to your work, and uh, you are almost done, you feel good about yourself, 
and then your best Romanian buddy writes you. And he cannot wait to share this perfect news that Elon Musk managed to do it with this uh, newest rocket and got into Mars and, and everything. And he also liked the topic, so he wanted to talk with him about it. And because he writes in Romanian, uh, he uses... Uh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Is there anybody who speaks Romanian or is Romanian? Okay, um, yeah. Um, if you go to Romania, I love the language, I love the people. But one, one funny thing about Romania is that even at the inscriptions, at the buildings, or at some official documents, they just don't care about using diacritics. It's like, we're in intelligent, that's it. But actually, yeah, it's true. It's like, uh, it's more probable that you find a Finnish guy that will willingly admit that Swedes are better than ice hockey than a Romanian that would write you with diacritics like up front. But anyways, you, are, you, want to be a, you want to do it right, so you switch to Romanian keyboard because you want to master the language well. And uh, yeah, you, you give him your goodbye, and you actually manage to finish your English work. And if you sum it up, it was like, how many? At least eight times you had to switch over the, the keyboard. This can get really tiring, and it's a, it's a problem. That, uh, not yet, not yet. Um, yeah, so this is, this is a problem that many poly polyglots struggle with. I myself, when I was living in France, I was lear learning French, and uh, which is my, the, the lightest language I learned, I, I had to juggle between six uh, keyboard layouts. And it was like, oh, they, it was getting exhausting. So I told myself, Adam, you're the IT guy, you can do it. You can fix it. So yeah, I, I fiddled with some tools and, and made my own keyboard layout. And I, I went into this project with some basic preconditions, something that I wanted, uh, the, the new keyboard, I wanted it to be in a certain way. The, the first thing is, I'm a programmer, so I definitely needed an English QWERTY keyboard as a basis. Like not some crazy Bojack stuff, nah, no way. Uh, and then I, I look at the keyboard and there are numbers out of there twice, the numpad and the alphanumerical row. So I was like, yeah, how about we replace the, the numbers up there with the, with the dead keys combinations? And dead keys are keys where you don't, you don't press it simultaneously, you press it and then you press the number, uh, the key, and you get the, the combination. Uh, for example, if you take the circumflex, uh, it's number un like un which is normally number four, and any of the letters, you get the circum uh, circumflexed uh, letter. Any Esperantists here? Might be something for you. Uh, and by the way, the the W with circumflex is actually semi-vowel in Irish. I didn't know that. It's pretty cool. Welsh? Ah, sorry, Welsh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's it's interesting. Because uh, I didn't. I just I just did it for letters that exist. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it actually exists for all the combinations. For it, it could be interesting, but I don't think. The, to be, to, be, I, to be honest, I don't think that all the combination exists in Unicode, yeah. but uh, they, just, they just don't exist. Yeah, this yeah. Is a, like a, it's not a combination of the things, this is a separate letter. Yeah. And uh, then you might ask, might ask yourself, what, what if I don't have a numpad? You can, you can still type the, the numbers with the Alt key or Option key, like you press it, yep. But uh, Unicode also recently added a combining code for so you can have mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Like, we can add them, or you can. But it's a good input. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So these are the languages you can type with that. I was um, I'm kind of egoistic, uh, so I was like doing this for the languages I speak and that I'm proficient uh, in. So it's more optimized for some languages than for the others. I was. I <laughs> no. This is these are the languages that you can use it for. I was. Uh, I, the thing is that I didn't just create it and I was done with it. I was, I was uh, for example, replacing some groups and playing with it, tweaking it. And it's really, uh, it's quite comfortable to, to type English, uh, German, Spanish, Slovak, Czech, and uh, Portuguese with it, Romanian. Uh, and there's, so this is quite okay. 
Uh, there are some languages where you, which you can type, but they are not as comfortable. For example, uh, it's Hungarian because this, this, this double, uh, is it, uh, is it double acute accent or grave accent? I never know. <laughs> okay, never mind. This like longer uh, diuresis. They are, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. So these are these are under number six, and they are kind of hard to reach because you have to like reach in the middle with either finger. You can type in Hungarian, but it's kind of trickier. It's tricky to type on Hungarian, like Hungarian. Is it? Still better than Azerty, but yeah. Uh, yeah. The thing is, and now who can use this thing? Who is it good for? If you are a translator or a writer, a uh, copywriter. And uh, generally, you are using a lot of, like you're using a specific language for a really long periods of time. This is probably not what you're looking for. This is because you want to stick with the national keyboards, which are optimized for that one language, maybe switching between two or three. Uh, this is good for, even though I really don't think that Azert is optimized for French, but never mind. Uh, I, I used to keep it like Quebecois. And uh, so this is good for if you are, let's say, polyglots even better polyglot programmer, and you are just usually, usually spending most of your time in English, and sometimes you want to talk with some friends and your crushes and I don't know who else, and you want to use the, the diacritics. And you know, when I was, struggle, when I was using this, this um, keyboard, I was using the keyboard just for specific characters, and when I wanted to type a bracket or, or something like that, I always switch to English, and it's, uh, it's really annoying. So, yeah, so this, these are the languages you can type it in. Uh, there are most of the languages with the Lat that use Latin alphabet. For example, Turkish, Lithuanian, and Latvian didn't fit in. It would kind of kill the logic of the combinations. Uh, because, for example, you have a. Um, it's also my preference because I speak Romanian. I don't speak Turkic, Turkish. But for example, you have this. You have this Cedila, and uh, Romanians, Romanians have this S with the with the line below. It's not S with the Cedila. And I would like, I would have to put it to somewhere else. Even though these are not just, you can, these are conglomerate groups. For example, this under, uh, this Hacek or Karon uh, below F8. That one is Hacek, which is used in Czech or Slovak or Slovenian. But I also, you can also type with the A with the brief, kind of a hem, uh, semicircle that Romanians use. Uh, but it could be tweaked to use Turkish, like with an next version. Yeah. So how do you do that? You can you could do it with a, with a letter. It's just, just that, like for example, as with Cedilla and as with line below would occupy the same letter. Letter, and that's the thing. But can you so that it's not there in the keyboard? Uh, as with Cedilla, no. As with can you speak a bit louder? Because otherwise you can go. Hey, let's uh, let's have a question for the end. Uh, we're going to discuss it. Um, I would like to actually show you if that it actually works. Um, So I hope you will see it. Um, for example, this one. Uh, who, who can guess the language can, gets a cookie for me? Your best. Uh, it's not my best language. <laughs> uh, this one is Romanian. Stiuca este ciudat, dar sunt romanca și nu-mi plac semința. It's something like, uh, I know it's weird, but I'm Romanian and I don't like the sunflower seeds, which are very popular there. How about some German? Yeah, uh, why, are, why are you laughing? They use it uh, to, 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 to punish you, but they do. Uh, yeah? How about the S test, the Charlotte test? You know, uh, it's used quite often as well. Uh, Alt und S. So it works. You get there the are some, yeah. Well. Yeah, there. Uh, the you mean the diuresis and with the macron? Yes. 
I have that somewhere, but uh, this one? Uh, nah. Yeah. No, this is this is kind of a a little bit of a hack that I bought. This this is under Q, I think, but oh, right. it's a because this this one is this one is complicated. Yeah. So uh, by the way, this means uh, you should have done the research of the growth uh, potential of the legal protection insurance companies in Austria. Uh, how about some Spanish? Um, Uh, is there anybody who doesn't speak Spanish? Uh, it's like, it's like, hey, hey, Mister, why didn't you come to the reunion to the to the party? Because the the tortilla from Miguel, it's it's like from a concrete, and I don't really feel like eating it. Uh, do you know Do you know what pangrams are? Uh, they are pangrams are sentences which try to contain all the letters from a specific alphabet. Uh, especially the accentuated ones, and they are used. They are used, for example, for testing that the fonts render correctly. Yeah. And this is, for example, uh, a French one. They're, they usually don't make much sense. Opa, sorry. Uh, Uh, if I take the questions. <laughs> if what? If I can answer the questions from Slido? Just ask, do you prefer to take the questions from the app or for us to just shout them out? We can do it, to, we can do it the traditional way, like whatever, if you feel like, uh, it's like, it's a, it's a possibility. It's a, it's a possibility. Uh, yeah, this is, this means something like, Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a tool, so. Uh, this means something like ambiguous voice of heart that prefers kiwi bowels to zephyr. Uh, zephyr is some, some western wind or something like that. Now, now comes my favorite and very short one. Uh, and I don't speak the language, so I really apologize if I, um, if I don't do it right. And if I don't read it right, Uh, uh, yeah. I don't speak Hungarian. Arvis turu tuko furogip, which should mean something like a flat resistant mirror drill. What a language. And the last one, this one will be in Swedish. Uh, should be something like X handle courier give our uh, WC zone maiden IQ help. That is a very yeah. Uh, it should be this uh, handle X handle courier or so. This is what I like found on the internet. I don't speak Swedish also, so. X, X handle courier. courier. Like C O U courier. Yeah, it's, I just found it on the internet. I really don't speak Swedish. Uh, these these sentences don't really usually make much much sense. And uh, yeah, the, you can you can download the keyboard if you just put in the internet or Google polyglotkeyboard.com. I think I'm in second place. And uh, I I implemented it for Windows and for macOS. My plan is to do it also for Linux. And now the best part. You people that are here are, are very lucky because you'll be probably the last group of people uh, together with the ones that you tell uh, about this 
that will get this for free. I, I plan to put it behind the paywall to maybe get some remuneration for it, but I like, I like polyglots in the community, so it's, it's, for you, it's going to be for free for a while. And, uh, huh? We have a special code? No, it's just a time-limited emission. Like, you have to do it now and like, or maybe in the following two weeks. Yeah, and uh, that, No, it's just a keyboard layout. It doesn't recognize anything. It's just a keyboard layout. So basically, the, the thing that you switch in the upper upper right corner, like in Windows or Mac OS. Yeah. So it doesn't work on phones or something. It's just really a, a keyboard layout. Yeah. Anyway, so um, that was it. I thank you very much for your attention. I thank you that you came here, even though there is this, uh, this freaking SIM code guy. I don't know who he is. <laughs> I thank you for my Roman, uh, Romanian friends, Spanish friends, and French crush, and my German boss, and thank you. There is this. Is it possible to do that then with uh, this keyboard? Well, you can define it however you want, you know. Uh, so it is possible. Like the tools I used, uh, there is an app for, for Macs which is called Ukulele. Uh, it's like, which one? This one. And you can define your keyboards here. It's like, it is a nice graphical interface. For Linux, you just edit a file, which is really nice and easy. And for Windows, there's a Microsoft keyboard crea uh, layout creator or something like that. So if you want to modify it or, or create your own, just write me and I will send you the source code and you can, or the source file, and you can actually like tweak it a little bit. No problem. Question, yep. Have you tried to compare your layout with the ABC extended keyboard layout that already exists on the Mac? Because it can basically do all, and, and everything you... It can, yeah. it can. Uh, yeah. Uh, for example, Slovak keyboard also allows these kind of things, but you have to do it through really weird combinations, and this is just easier. So I, I, I got. Hmm? I do, but only for things that. So I wanted to do it. The, the thing is that the combinations where you have to press something and then hold it and press something else, that's kind of that takes time. And uh, this, this is hard to optimize. And so I did it for things like SZ, this uh, French ligature, uh, uh, yeah. and, but for sim things that occur quite, quite often, I did it with these dead keys because I think it's faster. It means a little bit more finger travel, but it should be, should be faster. Could you use shortcuts uh, Say it again, please. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand the first question. Like, if I can. It's at the moment. Yeah. This basically gives diacritics. You know. Right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Germanized yeah. already. Yeah. I'm Germanized already. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and? And it would be maybe in a future generation. Do you think? Well, also, I wonder where are the numbers? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> under, under Alt, like you press Alt and, or a so capsule. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 possible. Like you can, it's a, like these tools. There, there are tools, and you can you can put there whatever you want. Like if you shortened. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can. Do, yeah, you can do anything. Like if you want to, if you use this tool, and you you define that uh, after pressing Alt E, it will give you, uh, for example, the first two verses of a German anthem. It will just do it. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. 
Uh, do we have any questions on the slider thingy? Okay. okay. Have you thought yep. about uh, for, for phones? Because I have a problem that uh, for, for the word list to work, I can only use like four languages at yeah. the same time. And it's, and it's annoying. Yeah, you mean this prediction? Yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah. yeah this is something, it's a completely different technology. Like prediction works on a kind of machine learning and it's try to, tries to predict which the next word will be, analyzing your, the words that you use in the com common database. And it's actually not dependent on one language. It just analyzes what you have. And from that, how likely it is that the next word will be this. It gives you some, some options. But it is yeah, nothing to do with this one. Spelling correction because if I want to, if I just have four languages to choose from to have active, and I want to read, read something in French and that's not in the active languages, and I write something, it's gonna spell, respell it to some one of these four. So I just wonder if anyone has like yeah. this is this is why, for example, yep. In uh, on uh, Android, you can install custom keyboards from the Play Store, and there's one that's called Multilink of Keyboard, which allows you to have as many languages you want yeah. to customize the layout. Yeah, I use it in my phone. What was it called? Multi-link all keyboards. M-O-T-U. M-U. With like multi-link all keyboards. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, if there are no any more questions, I thank you again and enjoy the rest of the conference. Yeah.